Well, we're here with Eric Drain, and I'm a Fresno-based muralist, creator of some really awesome, badass art murals, and he's gonna give us a few words. Uh, Eric, um, how did you get started on creating murals? Uh, graffiti art. Graffiti art? Yeah, graffiti art, like, 30 years ago, 31 years ago. Wow. So to take us back to that time, 30 years ago, which, what got you started in graffiti art? Um, always did art period but uh, literally got stuck uh, doing diesel mechanic work with with uh, my brother-in-law I couldn't help him with what he was doing there was a big huge legal wall across the street so I was like hey uh, mind if I grab these cans and go across the street and he said yeah and so I had to come back the next day with a ladder and more paint to finish and was that in Fresno yeah what what does this art form mean to you? Um, like creating murals in in the, in the public view. How, how is that different than sitting in your in your office or room drawing on a piece of paper? What is this outside public's piece um, being? Well, I never really uh, until I found this. Basically, that's all I did was draw with a pencil on paper. I didn't really do much color of anything other than art class in high school. Uh, so, one, one of the coolest things about graffiti art is uh, the camaraderie and the people. Really? Uh, some of the best friends of my life that I wouldn't give up for anything, you know? Um, so, that really pulls you in. Uh, in I guess, like, right away... Uh, I guess I was decent at it, so I got a lot of good feedback right away, so that definitely helped me uh, stick with it, you know? Yeah. Uh, and that became the only way I drew, and the only way I painted, and the only thing I did artistically, period, you know? I drew letters on paper, and that was about it, you know? Didn't color them, such and so on. Even my sketchbooks now, there's hard to color. But yeah, no, that's, uh, and I much rather, I'm more comfortable drawing with the can of paint now, mm -hmm. pencil now. So you mentioned connections. What kind of connections do you have because of your artwork? Is it Fresno or do you have connections across the state, across the nation? Uh, connections primarily through my my crews. Mm -hmm. uh, Bay Area crew, Lord's crew, and LA based crew, CBS crew, and also Tits crew, which is CBS used to be Seattle or originated in Santa Cruz, but it's kind of like everybody hopped around in that crew. Okay. Uh, much smaller though, so much easier. Uh, that and all the people in in those crews and what they do and where art led them, really. Wow. So it's uh, a whole community. Yeah, it's it's worldwide, you know, really, the graffiti art community. It's it's not. Yeah, you know, it's it's pretty much an international scene, really. Wow. Um, like, uh, you know, all my crews have, you know, people from other countries in them. And, uh, uh, and just the, the connections through the crews, like, um, like I get to paint outside lands every year because one of the guys. Wait, wait, repeat that, what? I get to paint outside lands every oh, year. Oh, okay. Uh, what is that? For the Tell past us. few years, it's, huh? a, it's a three day festival in San Francisco at Golden Gate Park. Uh, but, you know, that's an opportunity that arose because one of the guys in the crew, uh, he worked at, I believe, Juxtapose Magazine wow. slash Thrasher <laughs> and became, through that, was hired as art director for the festival and he pulled that's a family, huge deal. you know, and so that's a great opportunity. I almost, I was just close to getting a paycheck from Monster Energy Jink last year. But that didn't work out, and I mean, they put people on a hundred thousand dollar a year contract just to wow. go paint at festivals. So, you know, that would have been amazing. Uh, crew's been mentioned on the Grammys for guys in Texas helping out with something about uh, raising funds for a skate park, and there's a documentary for it that won, and they were actually thanked. Wow! On the Grammys, uh, just. So this is on and on. I mean, this is this is this is a lot bigger. It means much more than what maybe 
some people in the general public think you just come into a wall and spray paint a wall. This this is this is a worldwide phenomenon that you're you're connected to. Yeah, yeah. Uh, graffiti art is the is one of the longest running art movements. Uh, it's practiced on every continent, every country, pretty much, and it's the only art movement started by you. So maybe I'm wrong when I initially said this is a a mural. I mean, how would you describe this art piece behind you? This, in particular, I would call it a graffiti mural. Oh, graffiti mural. Okay. And what we would call it is we probably wouldn't use the word mural. We'd call it a production. It's not just a what? A production. A production, okay. Yeah, graffiti art production. I'm glad I asked that because I you wanted to get it right. Yeah, so, uh, so tell us about this piece right here. Uh, this piece basically was based on OG Nexus from San Jose's colors. Okay. <laughs> was, uh, he showed up first. He came from uh, from New Jersey for this fest, and he showed up a couple days before, so he came to paint and. Uh, those are the colors he chose. And What's it say? It says that's his Nexus. Nexus, that's his name. Yeah. What about the? Basically, these? I based the whole design off his colors. Okay. I, I had a whole another plan with the doom buggy and this psychedelic 60s, 70s vibe thing, uh -huh. but it didn't work out. Wasn't feeling it, so that's what I came up with. What about these other elements? What about the bear? That's just. Weird. Gonna do it. I was gonna do a tiger. Uh huh. Yeah. Like, well, not rainbow, but just this color gradient. Um, uh, 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 what I think of the tiger previously. Cool. The last, the last yeah. mural. Yeah, I remember. This, this wall's been painted probably 20 something, maybe 30 something times. I've been painting this wall for like, like 18 years. So you have a good relationship with the owners of this building and. Yeah, in fact, they let somebody else paint it once and they apologized to me. So <laughs> yeah. That's great. Because well, they, somebody just came, they just did better. Oh, okay. They're like, okay, I'm done. And they're like, oh, I thought you were going to do it. Either. Yeah. Because every time we paint this, there's a thing. There's color coordination, all the images tying in together, et cetera. Yeah. What, what about this, pe this element over here? Uh, that's mine. What does that say? It says drain. Drain, yeah. Eric Drain. Wow, it's fucking awesome. Different than something I usually do. Uh huh. Looks uh, like futuristic. It's it's based on like intersecting, intertwining lines. Mm -hmm. You know, over here you signed it, Lords Tits CBS. Yeah. Tell us again what those letters mean. Designs. Tits is uh, time is too short, and CBS is can't be stopped. And they're from different cities in California. Yeah, yeah. they're all California. So. Okay, and those are all crews you belong to. Yes. Wow. Uh, this this was basically the catalyst to start doing actual mural work and, oh, and wow. getting paid right here. I seriously like, had a couple small little gigs that people randomly called me. And I was like, I need more because pays good when it pays good you know when it pays you know uh, anyways uh, so I told myself I needed to find myself a wall on a major thoroughfare that lots of people see that people who hand out money decide where meals are gonna be pass every day on their way to work etc so I got this wall, I talked to the owner of the building, I talked to people at the apartments, found out who the owner was, because he also owns this, and I got a hold of him, I talked to him for a bit, because originally I wanted to do Stevie Wonder, uh, this, that, this, that, and the other person I decided that, you know, part of my other strategy, besides to find a wall where everybody, a lot of people would see it, especially certain people would see it, um, was to paint somebody that, everybody knows even people who do not like Johnny Cash whatsoever probably know who he is the movie etc it put a lot of people you know a lot of people that wouldn't know know because of such so that's who I chose 
on the spot came up the lettering blah 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 but while I was here painting this uh, I was approached two or three times and it led to other jobs oh and great we're gonna go check out another one right now right now and and this really is at the start of the mural district in downtown Fresno right Basically, right around right yeah, here yeah yeah we used to have some stuff uh, across the way over there and actually used to have some stuff on the other side of this building it's actually still there a mural with some of the other guys but they put that white building up so there's about this much space now but uh -huh. it's still there yes maybe you'll see it again in 100 years cool <laughs> let's go somewhere else so stevie wonder is what i was originally supposed to paint where we just were and saw the johnny cash and that is when the owner of one pub broadcasting john oslin here approached me where, where are we right now, Eric? We're in uh, downtown Fresno uh, in the alleyway of Broadway Studios and One Pup Broadcast. So this is Broadway Studios right here? Yeah. This is like where the main centers of Art Hop, right? Yeah, yeah. There's a ton of studios with a ton of amazingly talented artists in some of this room. Really good shit. You just said Fresno has a lot of talent? Yeah. Yeah. That's probably something that most people around the state don't know about Fresno. Yeah, no, there's there's tons of talent here. If you look up famous people from Fresno, Google that shit, uh -huh. you will be um like, I like was artists. Away. How just Nobel Prize winners, etc. Poets, actors. I mean, it, I couldn't believe how how long the list was. Yeah. So you got CB Wonder up there. What else? Got CB Wonder, Mick Jagger, Janis Joplin, and Anthony Carter. Wow. Yes. And Mick Jagger over here. And did you do the Beatles also? Or? No, no. That's somebody else? Yeah, Jason. Okay, Jason did that. Apparently, Are you really? Yeah. The cousins or what? Cousins of cousins. Okay. Yeah. Who did the, um, uh, the Sinatra? Oh, Coleman. It says Coleman on there. And who did that, all this Jason. pop surrealism? Jason. Jason. Is he still in front now? I have one of those paintings I bought like 20 years ago. Wow. I have was I bought one of those pieces at um, Teasers like in 2002. <laughs> Around there, I think. Yeah. Long time ago. Pretty cool stuff. Super good door. And then I believe that's Josh Baker's old stuff towards the right. Okay. Is he still in Fresno? He's still doing like his pop surrealism stuff. Oh, um, Josh Wigger. Uh, this guy. He does all sorts of stuff. He's doing he's, like cool sculptures. And he's stuff really right talented. Now. Yeah, he's super talented. Yeah. He's got a lot going on in his head. Yeah. <laughs> so you said Fresno has lots of talented people. What else can you say about Fresno that's unique, perhaps unique characteristics to Fresno, the artist compared to? The Bay Area, LA. What, what is it about Fresno that makes it unique? People had to work a little bit harder because there are not the opportunities here that you have in the Bay and LA. Uh, you know, I've I've had fucking eat and pay rent, so I've I've done fucking mill work for ten bucks a square foot. You know, that barely covers the fucking cost of fucking materials. Yeah. So. And there's more money in LA, right? There's more there is, people doing. There, there's a shit ton of fucking money here too, and a shit ton of people with money. But Fresno doesn't know how to pay for art, unless it's some other rich person's art. You know, then they're in the clique and in the circle, and it's cool to have their shit. You know, there's a I won't say his name, but he does artwork on metal here, and it's it's very simple. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't get the attraction how every fucking rich person here in town has to have one. Of I, think, I think once you're plugged in, exactly. right? Yeah, yeah. There's it's about uh, marketing your personality as an artist. There's a, yeah. Uh, 
just your artwork really you just gotta get it out there like a lot of people how do you how do you, how do you do it how do you get started i fucking start i painted it i started painting i taught myself graffiti art i got a piece of plywood and i took pictures of people's shit and i said how did they do this i like that i like that i like that about a thousand times then of how to do my work and uh, it's helping out a lot you know it's, it's helping things go faster really but um, one thing about fresno is like you see people talk about it see shit online a lot of fresno. tv etc about fresno all you see and especially with graffiti all you see is this a dirty fucking alley fucking areas of town where they allow graffiti. So all you see is a shell, but they're insanely rich fucking mansions with fucking a basketball court that was so sensitive and expensive, I couldn't bring in a scaffold to put the weight on it. And I mean, there's guys driving fucking Ferraris and what, people don't get that. People, there's fucking rich money here. Over on that town, it's all glitz and glam and pretty and fake titties and nice cars and... It's definitely... It's a, a, not... Like, I had one friend, he's like, so you live in Fresno, huh? He's like, so, like, uh, you got horses out there? <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> well, actually, yeah, we do. <laughs> but not like you think. Yeah. But it's just, it's uh, endless suburbia strip malls and suburbs and strip malls and suburbs. Once you get to the bluffs, which is, like, really rich money. Yeah, and maybe once we start to get in some hills, maybe things the will change. Right. Get hipper, but also, this downtown's coming back alive. And a lot of thanks to the artists for that. Okay. You know, I think uh, it's a major foundation. Right? It, it made other people want to be down here, and I think uh, Reza Semini is probably one of the most responsible for you know things developing down here again. He's a part of that art community that, that came out here in the '90s with Josh Wigger and Hicho, Jason Graham, and all those guys. Uh, those guys really, really brought the art scene in Fresno to life. You know, Adam, Adam Mina, and the art house, and yeah, those guys, super integral people, man. Awesome. Yeah. Let's look at your one, one last one. Okay. Uh, uh, so this was kind of the building owner's idea. Uh, in fact, he knows the woman who. That is. She's actually a Ukrainian woman, in fact. <laughs> in fact, the newspaper was looking for me to do a, uh, an interview about the mural. And I talked to the guy for an hour. And I, as soon as I said she was actually Ukrainian, it was over. He's like, okay, I got to go. What's your phone number? <laughs> the whole interview was about so her. The whole interview was about her. <laughs> tell us what this, this mural is about. Uh, it's, uh, it's basically a, a COVID tribute kind of thing, you know, mm -hmm. uh, superhero medical workers, you know. Because the hospital is right across the street, right? This was my first color portraits right here. Oh, wow. This is my, my first time even trying to paint a color portrait. So I feel pretty good about it. My gold's really wrong. I didn't, couldn't find the right colors. I should have come back with the right color to fix that, but I didn't. Uh, so this is what it is. This was a pretty fucking scary little spot right here. Why is that? Uh, well, first of all, the first day I was out here, I was out, you know, the first few nights I was out here, I would trace two faces and then load up and go home, paint during the day, trace two more faces, you know, so I was projecting, I was out here by myself. Oh, you were here but, by, at night by yourself? At night by myself, but even before that, <laughs> I met the owner of the car lot next door, and he's out here going, oh, that's cool, blah, 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 what are you gonna do, this, that, and this, and uh, what are you saying? He's like, oh yeah, somebody got shot over here on the corner the, last night. Yeah, that was it, all. It's a pretty rough neighborhood for those what? watching. That was all, this is the fucking corner. <laughs> <laughs> and so, yeah, no, I've, I've painted plenty of hoods in Fresno, yeah. and, Sure, there's you know, there's gangsters around, blah blah blah. But this, 
I want to fuck around in this neighborhood. Uh, there was one time I was out here painting and my back was turned. I turned around and looked up and there was about seven of the fucking older G's from the neighborhood. Not kids. So I actually probably lucky. The kids yeah. probably just would have fucking went straight to Yeah. Me. But uh, older G's and they fucking had some. They were big fucking dudes and they had some looks on their face. And I turned around and I looked and I was like, hey, what's up, guys? So what are you doing? And I was like, oh, this is for this guy, you know, trying to say thanks to the nurses, blah, 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 blah. And he just, all right, cool. <laughs> fucking, he turned around and they all turned around and they fucking walked away, but they're the biggest fucking one. He looked back a couple of times and his nostrils were just, damn. And I was like, fuck. Because this, this is like, in their mind, this is their wall. This is their fucking neighborhood. He's like, all right, we'll allow it. You know what I mean? This is, yeah, this is their fucking was their fucking space right here. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, that was that was a trip. And I've been shot at on the west side back in the day, blah blah blah, but that was Why doing a mural? Uh doing graffiti art. Oh, okay, graffiti, graffiti, yeah, yeah, but, yeah. You know. Yeah. This was uh this was fun. This was a learning experience. They don't make this color or this color. If you look you can see little bitty speckles of probably about seven fucking colors. Wow. <laughs> That's so, so that, beautiful. That was fun. Yeah. You know, just figuring it out. Yes, I know it looks like he's wearing fucking lipstick. <laughs> fucking picture I, I I used. It was that dark and I just yeah. fucking went with it. And, oops. Oh, it <laughs> looks great. You did a fucking well, fantastic job. I'll show pictures job. later. His lips are not that dark. <laughs> but I think Spider-Man probably came out the best. Wow, well, yeah, that's badass. That that's probably seven colors That's badass, man. That's so cool. Yeah, I just felt like it looked, it looked the realest. Yeah. But yeah, this is this is what I get for fucking ten dollars a square foot. Probably my best fucking meal. Wow. What kind of, what kind of feedback from the community did you get from this? Oh man, I, I I could not. After a while, I was just like, thanks. What were people saying? Thanks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. It's just just people gratitude. Yeah. But after a while, it's like, I can't, I can't even fucking paint. Because <laughs> people are in and Oh, out, from the hospital, right? Leaving yeah. this hospital. Even people just across, passing by, people walking by, homeless, people, little kids. And little kids fucking love this shit. Yeah. 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 They, I mean, while I was still paying, they're over here taking pictures. <laughs> so that's super fun. That's what I'm making them super happy. Right on. Uh, so yeah, it, but lots of super good feedback, lots of thank yous, tons of followers, mostly nurses. Yeah. So yeah, that was cool. Wow. Yeah. It's weird. This didn't get me any work. This hasn't oh. got me any work. A lot of people who knew this guy came and talked to me, but as soon as I started talking prices, I'm like, oh, oh okay, I got to pay for it. Yeah. Yeah, you got to pay for it. Yeah. That's <laughs> so what I'm trying to do to eat, damn it. That's right. This is fun, but it's also fucking work. Yeah. yeah. And it, the pay costs money also, right? $7 a can. This wow. has probably got fucking... At least 50 cans fucking wow. in it, you know? That's amazing. Yeah, no, it, the, the, can, the, the paint uses imported from Spain. Oh, there's, it's, a, it's a special kind of paint. And there's actually quite a few companies, but there's a main company that most use. And, uh, they it's make, in Spain. They make hundreds of colors. Wow. And it's produced for art. Wow, I know that. I think most people would just thought you went to like Home Depot and got like spray paint. American paint's no good. Yeah, I, I really. Yeah, it hasn't been any good since I guess the nineties. Why is it? Uh, our, our regulations, chemicals, etc. Okay. And I guess companies here have tried it, but because of regulations, they can't do it. It's like because this paint's almost like it's, it's, it's almost like it's acrylic. Wow. It's, it's like uh, it's all satin. It can get gloss. But... Anyways, yeah. All right, well, Eric, do you have any closing words? Any um, w <clears throat> closing words about your art and what it means to you or art, the art movement at large or Fresno or anything? Uh, I, I love uh, that Fresno's coming to life with the art and it's getting bigger and better. And I feel like all kinds of new money, the city and even the tower district is allocated. So some good things are coming up. Uh, I've got an idea for a, a tower postcard thing right now there's two artists for each letter that are locals from the area blah 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 that sounds great and uh, 
the graffiti art's a lot bigger than most people know, and it's, it's not really something kids do. It's more an adult sport, and it's and it's more a lifestyle also. It's not just something you do for fun. It's not for kids. It's kind of you kind of live it. And, um, you know, most it's really misunderstood. And, it's um, like a culture, right? It's, it, a, it's a subculture. Yeah. Another sub, yeah, it is absolutely is a subculture. And it's also a multi-million dollar fucking industry. A huge fucking industry. Um, and a lot of people say it's a leg of hip-hop. I personally don't think it is because you didn't have to be about hip-hop. Maybe at first it's how it started. No. No, not okay. Even, not maybe, you know, no, it just started with people who wanted to fucking have their name known yeah, and be, and be yeah, famous. You sure. Know? You know, supposedly it all started with Talkie 182 in New York, but there's argument that Philadelphia was doing it first. Um, but, you know, like I said, it's really misunderstood. Like, I, I know a fucking retired marine drilling st instructor that does this shit, you know? Super successful business owners that do this shit. Um, you know? Everybody does shit. Has wives, kids, families, and It's jobs. like being a painter, right? This is a form of, this is artistic expression. Absolutely. There's no fucking difference other than we're not using a brush and we're painting big on walls. And, you know, stuff like this, you see, it's not illegal. It was done with permission. It was asked for. It was warranted. You know? um, and there is illegal graffiti. And sometimes it's, you know, not warranted. But, uh, tell you what, sure is fucking fun. All right. <laughs> well, thanks, Eric. Appreciate it. Thank you.